So while we're waiting for new patches and updates for the world of H1Z1, we decided to test a couple of smoke flares out, see what they look like. Now, in order for you to make a smoke flare, you will need a fertilizer, one packet of sugar, and one cloth. And hey, why not make 500 flares and see what they look like when they're all placed at the same time. You ready? Ready. Start placing. You can't even see Bubba's no more. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> My frames have dropped to like half. It's glitching. The smoke's glitching, dude. It's that bad. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's just see it from the other side because we do have a little base up there. It's like one does not simply walk into Mordor, man. It's a, a wall, this. Holy shit. Now, how about a few mines inside the base? We all know it's a little bit buggy, but they do make a cool explosion. So, once you've got your landmines, you can turn them into IEDs, therefore allowing you to light them at the correct time and giving you a bit of time to get away and watch the fireworks. So, I have about 25 over there. And I was just going to see what really happens to my base if I light them all up in there with a bit of fuel. And my corn, obviously, because I'm a farmer in this game. I like to farm things. I, I love growing stuff. So that was nice to even get some interior lighting afterwards. But why not let's just try it with a hundred IEDs, see what happens. It just looks scary, man. It just looks scary. So just right click and put your mouse on the ignite. Alright, I'm ready. So three, two, one, go. Holy shit! Oh, damn! <laughs> so if you'd like to join us for some crazy experiments in the near future, server link is in the description.